Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at the subtraction of two digit numbers. So we want to first of all start by looking at a very simple example. So say we have 17 minus 15. What is going to be our answer over here? So this is just um, a very simple arithmetic in uh, mathematics. So for example, we have 17 apples but you are supposed to give 15 apples out to somebody or to a friend. How many apples would you have left? So counting from 15, you have 16 and 17. So you count 2 to get to 17. Which means if you subtract 15 from 17, you are going to get 2. And let's look at the column subtraction of these numbers to see how we get a 2. So we have 17. We bring our subtraction sign and then we bring 15. Note that for the two digits, this is your ones, this is your tens. So when you want to do the subtraction, you subtract the ones first, and then you move on to the tens. And if there are three digits, then move on to the hundreds as well. So over here we have seven minus five. Seven minus five will give us two. So now we can move to the tens, which is one and one. 1 minus 1 will give us 0. So our final answer here is 2. Now let's have a look at another example. Say we have 65 minus 39. What is going to be our answer over here? So let's look at that. We have 65 and 39. Our subtraction sign is over here. Alright. So the first thing we do is we subtract the 1s, which is 5 and 9 over here. Now we have 5 minus 9. We cannot subtract 9 from 5 because 5 is smaller and 9 is bigger. So what do we do? We borrow. Now note that we are borrowing from 6, which in terms of the numbers, the tenses, it's 10. So if we borrow 1 from here, it becomes 10. So if we borrow 1 from here, we'll be left with 5. But that one that we borrowed, we bring it to the 5 over here it becomes 10 so 10 plus 5 becomes 15 so now we have 15 minus 9 that will give us 6 so we write down our 6 so now we have 5 left over here after we borrowed the 1 so we have 5 left over here so 5 minus 3 will give us 2 so our answer over here becomes 26 now let's look at something if that is true, it means if we add this number and this number, we should get a 65 back. So let's look at that. So we have 39 and 26. If I add 9 to 6, I'm going to get 15. I write down the 5 and I carry 1. That 1 comes to the number over here, 3, to become 4. 4 plus 2 will not give me 6, which is 65. So it means our answer 26 is correct over here. All right, let's have a look at more examples. So we have 97 minus 37. So 97 minus 37. If we do the subtraction, we have, we subtract the ones first. So 7 minus 7, that will give us 0. Because you have, let's say, 7 apples. You are supposed to give seven apple out, so you'll be left with no apples at all. So that will give us zero. Now we have nine minus three. You have nine apples, and you give three apples out. You are left with six apples. So we have six over here. So ninety-seven minus thirty-seven will give us sixty as our answer. Let's have a look at another example. We have thirty-nine minus twenty-six. So I write down my first number 39. I bring my division, sorry, my subtraction sign, and I have my 26 over here. So as usual, I do the subtraction of the ones first. So 9 minus 6. If we subtract 6 from 9, we get 3. Now we move on to the tens. 3 minus 2, we get 1. So 39 minus 26 will give us 13. Right, let's have a look at one final example. 
say we have 56 minus 12 so I have here 56 minus 12 if I subtract 2 from 6 I'm going to get 4 if I subtract 1 from 5 I'm going to get 4 so it is 44 now let's have a look at one example where we need to borrow again so let's look at I have 97 minus let's say 49 what is going to be our answer so I have here 97 minus 49 now we have 7 at the top here we have 9 at the bottom we cannot do the subtraction because 7 is less bigger the nine so what do we do we borrow one from the nine over here mind you this is in the tens column so the one we borrow becomes ten so if i borrow one from here i am left with eight that one added to the seven becomes 17 because the one that we borrowed is 10 is from the 10 column so it becomes 10 plus 7 becomes 17 now 17 minus 9 that will give me Eight. So I have here 8. Now I am left in the tens column. I am left with 8 and 4. 8 minus 4 will give me 4 over here. So my answer is 48. Let's see if that is correct. So to get this, we need to add this and this to see if we get 97. So we have 49 plus 48. 9 plus 8 will give me 7. I carry 1. That 1 plus 4 over here will give me 5. 5 plus 4 will give me 9. That is equal to 97, which is the same as the number we have over here. So, thank you so much for watching. This is how we do simple subtraction of two digit numbers. So, thank you once again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.